Let's get it. Hop off a 16 passenger. This a G5. No, this not a challenger. Big one. I keep some members with me in the fridge. Get coat seats. They some cannibals. Eat us. They like the geek geek. Drink a whole bottle. Wake up and repeat. Damn. She took a look. Mixed it with the chill out. Now she says she said. Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. So, um, a situation came to my attention last night. Uh, Peach put up a, um, community post talking about a recent transaction that she had on the platform and how she feels that um, the situation wasn't fair to her, which is pretty much what she was saying without saying it. Um, she paid for promotion with a young lady who has a very robust and uh, ever-growing and very active platform, right? So with that, um, the young lady, uh, only keeps her promotions up for a period of time. Apparently it's not a permanent post. And as a matter of fact, this young lady's promotion was a short, uh, of, of, of pieces apparently. So after two days, the post was down. So Peach reached out to her and asked her a question and in the question, um, the young lady said, you know, I keep my post up for two days. Um, and so Peach felt a ways because she thought it was going to be there forever, I guess. Um, and so she goes on to say, I, I could have made a big deal about it. I just said thank you and went on. She was very professional with me. And she said, and I told her that if it's a temporary post, you should notify people up front, which that's a fair thing to say, just being honest. Um, you know, you should give all the details up front to people because um, it should be a part of their buying decision. So I, I do agree with that. Um, but um, she said, the young lady said that I will and thank you. And they ended the conversation. So then I'm sitting here scratching my head like, okay, so you posted this, why? Then I thought about it. She posted it really to be nice, nasty, messy. Now she didn't say the young lady's name, but uh, somebody in the comments knew about the situation apparently because baby, they said the name. And you know, they was like, well, um, you know, Zanadia is a very nice young lady. She has a very, um, uh, you know, decent sized channel. Um, you know, you the big peach McIntyre. Why you need her her promo anyway? Which, I mean, in in any business structure, and Peach is not just an uh, a YouTuber. She is a business woman. She has a business that um, you know she sells a product. And so, with that being the case, marketing is a very important part of what she's doing. Now, the question is. Uh, Peach is at, I think, 250,000 followers over here. She's at, um, 500,000, I'm told, or so on Facebook. Like, the question is, why are you doing promotion with someone who has less followership than you? Now, that's the question. So, people started to think about that. And they started to realize that maybe Peach was really having an angle behind the, um, the situation. Not only was she trying to pull a different type of crowd because uh, Zanadia is a very young, uh, she was a teen mother. Um, she is pregnant with her third child. Uh, as a matter of fact, she was a channel I had planned to bring to my uh, my channel as, as one of the moms that I do commentary on. Um, I had not done it as of yet um, because I just hadn't gotten to it. She is very positive. She's very, uh, she seems like a very sweet girl and she's an excellent mom. Like she's very attentive. Not only that, while she is on her channel, she still has her own business as a, a braider. So, um, I say all that just to say, it's like, what's the angle or what, what what's the playing field, um, with this? And I don't know if Peach maybe had some kind of ulterior something that she wanted to maybe pull her in as a potential client to help her expand her platform, or was it just, you know, I just wanted this and didn't get what I want, 
But I find it interesting that Peach even posted about this. Because why? If if the situation wasn't bad, you wasn't basically trying to, uh, what do they call it, uh, whistleblow. Like, why are you even talking about this if it's not something that um, people need to know about? Because we really did need to know this. And um, I also feel like she's trying to use this not as a teachable moment to the young lady, but as a um, almost aggressive, um, antic-like um, situation to where she wants her her followers to go over there and, I guess, put pressure on her. Because why else would she put it there? And, and Peach is not an unintelligent individual. She's very intelligent. With that being said, it's definitely... Um, she probably knew that someone would mention the situation. And with that, um, the name would come out without her having to do it. And that way she can hide her hands on the situation. So, um, it, it, it just, to me, was messy. To me, as Peach being an older woman, I think the girl may even be 20. I don't even know that she is because she still puts teen mom in her, uh, titles because i think she may still be a teen mom like 19 she has i think a four-year-old daughter i think a two-year-old son and then she's pregnant um so i think i really think that she is um not even 20 yet so what was the purpose of peach doing this it was to me it was manipulation um it was to try to make her look bad which I don't feel like she can because that girl seems to be a very sweet girl. I've even talked to her privately um, in reference to promotion, but I just was concerned that the, because of the age of my uh, um, viewers, um, I didn't think that the crowd would fit because that's one important factor that you have to consider when you are marketing a business. You have to make sure that whoever you're marketing with, when you choose these type of marketing uh, situations, you have to make sure that that their crowd is your crowd. So why go and do, um, promotion on a channel that the people there are not a person who would likely do business with you. And these are things that Pete should know what her average, uh, customer age is, things about that customer. That's how you, you uh, create your avatar for your business is you take, especially her, she brags all this time about all this money she's made. And, and, and to be quite honest, none of this makes sense. None of it makes sense that she would go and do promotions with a person with a smaller audience. It just doesn't. I mean, even the stuff that Peach shows as far as her shorts and different things, because she doesn't even really do a lot of long form content anymore. But the things that Peach is doing on her channel, you know, family things, things with her husband and things of this nature, I don't feel like Zanadia's audience is the ideal customer. Now, um, as far as getting them over there to uh, patronize her business, now maybe that could be an idea fit especially if there are young mothers on her channel who may want to um, learn how to have their own channel. So then, yes, that's her expertise, and that would make sense. But I say all of this to say, y'all, I, I just really feel like Peach McIntyre was wrong for calling herself uh, busting this girl out, I guess. Because obviously she had a goal in mind when she put up that very long post about what happened. Because she didn't have to put that up there. You made it a public matter by posting it. We didn't know head or tails of what happened. And if the girl said whatever she said, this is how she does her promotions. Um, it is what it is. Now, the, the thing I don't know is did she or did she not tell her up front about it not being a permanent post? Because that is very important. I have a online business. Um, and I've done a lot of, uh, promotions with a lot of channels and it's very, that is one of the main things they let you know. Okay. The post is going to be up permanently. The post is going to be up for two days. The post is going to be up for 24 hours, whatever the case may be. So I say all of that just to say, um, Peach needs to stop being messy. Peach needs to stop trying to 
uh, use her her age and her the size of her social network to be um, a bully to other people. Shame on you, Peach. Because that's the only goal that she could have wanted out of this situation is that the girl put it back up. As a matter of fact, she said the girl said, well, I'll put it up for an extra day. Um, and then Peach was like, we'll see. Like she really kind of threw shade there. And her goal was to make the girl look bad. Honey, you're not going to stop that girl money. Because when I tell you there are so many people, she consistently has people uh, do promotions with her. Now you... You went out and uh, at a period of time offered promo to people. And I may have seen two or three people that promoted with you. Um, and let's talk about another quick thing. Now, I have never patronized any of Peach's uh, business. Now, I heard things about it, good and bad. And with that being the case, it even still made me want to patronize just for... Um, my own curiosity like is this a good product is it not because some people said it was and some people said the product is very good for people who know nothing about the internet but if you have internet savvy of any type that her products would be a little bit more elementary than what you need and that's fair now some people say you know she a scammer I fully don't I don't believe that I believe that she could have had an oversight of maybe delivering something in a timely manner, but for her to be out here trying to take people money now, I mean, why would she? All of her products are, are already developed. All she has to do is deliver it. Now, what I don't understand is why she has products she has to hand deliver. Everything should be set up on her Shopify page and set to automatically shift. Even documents can do that. Even access to... Uh, you can create a folder on your server. Um, it has a HTTP access for privacy. And then you, you allow people based on the subscription that they purchased to access those documents there for a period of time. So that's how her other stuff should be done. Now, as far as me having to go, you, 100 people buy a $20 product and I'm going to go having to spend 10, 15 minutes to attach it to an email to email you and all of that yeah that's too much going on and for her to say she has made a million dollars doing that like yeah i i don't know i i don't i'm not saying i don't believe it but it's it's highly unlikely because she would still be delivering um emails now i know that she does have one person working with her but her and one person delivering products of a hundred dollars $20, $50 independently, single-handedly, one by one. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I just really don't see it. Now, if she's bulk delivering, okay, that could be a difference, but that could also be uh, very tumultuous and very uh, hard to do as well, um, especially if they have questions or anything of this nature. You know, you kind of open up your database of individuals. But I say all of that just to say, I think it's awful that she tried to be manipulative to the young girl, that she tried to make her look bad, and that she's out here being messy. Like, girl, you just trying to be messy to that young lady because you thought that you would be able to just jump on her platform and use her how you wanted to, and it didn't work like that for you. Just because she young don't mean she's stupid. I want to know what you guys have to say about this. I want to know if you guys know, um, you know, if you've seen what was going on. Uh, and if you haven't, how do you feel about uh, what she tried to do? Uh, I'm going to put a screenshot of the message in here. I will do that. But, uh, you know, it is available on her community wall unless she took it down. And I hope she has not taken it down because I, I haven't had the opportunity to get it. But at any rate, guys, tell me what you think. And we will chat in the next video. But before that, we're going to chat in them comments. See you guys next time. Bye. What the fuck is this?
get it. I bought for 16 passenger. This a G5, no, this not a challenger. Big one. I keep some members with me in the fridge. Get coat seats, they some cannibals. Eat us. They like the geek, geek. Drink a whole bottle, wake up and repeat. Damn. She took a look, mixed it with the chill out. Now she say she's saying 3D. Wow. I go in the jungle and they got a coat. I bet I come out with a meme. I bet I do this shit for the fam. Cause this shit